Welcome to our lecture online. Now what happens when we replace or exchange the position of the resistor and the inductor? What will be the phase shift difference now between the output voltage and the input voltage? Notice that the values are the same. We have a 20 ohm resistor. We have a 0.1 Henry inductor in such a way that with an angle of frequency of 200 Hertz, we still have a inductive reactance of J20. And notice that the total impedance of the circuit even though we exchanged the components, it's still going to be the same, 28.28 as a magnitude with an angle of 45 degrees. But since we now have exchanged the position, notice what happens now when we try to calculate the output voltage. Again, we use the concept of the voltage divider. We can then say that V on the output is equal to V on the input times the ratio of the voltage here, of course, we're going to take the voltage across the resistor, that would be, uh, uh, we can say R, divided by the total impedance of the circuit, which is Z. And see now what happens when we do this calculation. So this would be equal to the input voltage times the resistance, which would be 20 with a phase angle of zero degrees, divided by Z. Z, of course, can be written as 28.28, with a phase angle of 45 degrees. Now the magnitude will be the same as before, so we can go ahead and write it over here. You can see that the output voltage, V out, is equal to, this divided into that is 0 0.707 times the input voltage with a phase angle of, and now here's the difference, 0 minus 45 is a, whoop, would be a minus 45 degrees, and notice we again have a phase angle of 45 degrees, but it's in the negative direction rather than the positive direction. So you get the same result as if you put a resistor over there and a comparable capacitor over here so that the magnitude of the impedance is the same for both. Of course, it'll be different direction, but again, you can see that the result you get when inducted is exactly opposite to the result you get when you put a capacitor into the circuit. So here we can create with an inductor a phase difference of minus 45 degrees on the output voltage compared to the input voltage. And yep, that's, yep, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and that is the result of that. That's how it's done.